Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm very excited about today's video because I'm gonna be sharing with you one piece of technology that I really love, enjoy, and that adds value to my life, and that is the Insta360 X3 camera. For complete transparency, I would like to tell you that this video is made possible by Insta360. They sent me this new camera to test for the purpose of making this video. To this, though, I would like to add a huge clarification. This is by far my favorite camera ever. I love this thing and I would have bought it 100% paying out of my own pocket with my hard-earned cash to make a review about it and just to basically use it to create content that I can then repurpose for Instagram or my YouTube channel. I believe 360 cams by Insta360 are awesome and perfect for action and adventure content to create visual memories that will last us a lifetime. I use mine daily. I take it all the time on bike rides, on trail runs, and I really, really like it. So now let's get stuck into the main subject of the video, the Insta360 X3. It's a compact 360 camera with a great form factor and build quality. Its features are 5.7K 360 video capture with the brand new half inch sensor with and up to 30 frames per second in 5.7K. The Insta360 X3 captures everything around the two lenses and merges the footage into a seamless 360 degree video. Coupled with this new bigger sensor, we get the same magical Insta360 technology that cancels out the invisible selfie stick to allow us to get third person views. This absolutely blows me away every time. It means we can get dynamic and impossible shots, like someone else is literally there with us and filming from a third person perspective. This, in my opinion and experience, is the magic of the Insta360 360 cameras. These shots are insane, stable, dynamic, and coupled with the whole 360 field of view being captured, allows us to shoot first without being preoccupied in the least with perfect angling, etc. And we can reframe the shots later. This shoot first, reframe later is a killer feature. It means unlimited creativity in post-production. The simple fact that the X3 captures everything around it means we can just shoot capturing the action or an epic landscape and then reframe it later. This, in my experience, means two things. The first is we will always be able to keep the subject of the video framed as we want. The second is we can add motion to our shots in post-production. Pans, tilts, rolls, you name it. We can add all of these via keyframes, both on the mobile phone app and in the Insta360 Studio desktop app. This allows for incredible freedom. And if we combine two things, so our subject always in frame, plus being able to move the shot around to see what we are looking at, or another particular thing that is happening in that moment, we can do it. And this is something really incredible that every time I do it, blows me away. I truly think this is one of the best, if not the best thing about the X3. This camera allows us to really be in the moment and enjoying what we are doing without having to worry about framing shots. The story and what we are doing, the endeavor we are accomplishing, becomes the most important part. We can go and climb a mountain, having an amazing experience and truly living that experience. And in the meantime, we can capture great footage without having to overthink it because we can get that perfect framing in post-production. This is the beauty of 360 video. Enjoy the moment, really live it, be present, and get cool footage. The reframing in post-production also allows for a lot of creative freedom, allowing us to rotate, zoom, and change field of view. This means we can get some really crazy shots that literally cannot be shot on a normal camera. The 360 footage hype is real, my friends. If you didn't know what a 360 camera is, this stuff will leave you just with your mouth open and in utter disbelief. Another really great feature is the flow state stabilization with horizon lock. This is like the best class of stabilization. And I've got to say boys, this stabilization is legit. It's actually pretty mind blowing what you can accomplish with it. And I have no clue how they did it, but they did it. It manages to smooth out shots in a pretty incredible way. I tested out cycling a ton, both on road and on gravel, but also trail running and the footage comes out really smooth. So if you do activities with high motion, adventures, this camera 
could be a great choice also for that. Another thing that they have improved is adding 72 megapixel photos. This is by far the most megapixels ever in a 360 action cam. And this is possible thanks to the X3's new larger sensor. 72 megapixels is a lot of data and it allows for super crisp photos and detail. Other new features are HDR video, which provides stabilized 360 video, maximizing the range in color and detail both in the shadows and in the highlights. HDR means high dynamic range. Dynamic range is the amount of information kept in scenarios where there is very bright sky and at the same time, deep shadows. So for instance, in a shot where we are cycling through a forest and we are sunlit, but our surroundings are pretty dark, we will be able to have quite a lot of detail also in the shadows of the trees in the forest, basically. One of the other new features that I like the most is 8K time-lapse. This can get insane shots of places, landscapes and action where we end up on in our adventures. 8K time-lapse means a lot of possibility for reframing and awesome detailed crisp footage. I took the camera out for a lot of tests and in one case I was literally at the top of a mountain and shot a time lapse of these cloud formations moving in across a little col. I absolutely love this shot and I intend to use time lapse a whole lot more in the future. The camera also has a new 4K single lens mode which allows to capture classic action cam style footage with a higher quality if we decide to do so. This can be useful if we have like a specific shot in mind that we know that it's going to be framed in that way and we can just switch to this mode and get it without having to carry another camera around just to get flat shots and this I think is a very good upgrade. A new cool feature is also me mode which keeps the focus of the 360 footage directly on us, reframing the shot to keep us in the center. This can be very useful to speed up the post-production process, which I will talk about later. But basically we don't need to keyframe anything and we don't need to track anything. We will always be in the center. Other features are time shift for hyperlapses and bullet time, which has been upgraded to 4K 120 frames per second. And now speaking about the camera and the actual improvements on the hardware of the camera, one really cool new thing is the larger 2.29 inch touchscreen, which makes it super easy to see what you're doing, frame shots, switch modes, select options and review footage being so large. Now you can really check out the footage and see what has come out. The X3 being an action camera, of course, is also waterproof up to 10 meters. So you can take it in the water and get water shots. And now I would like to talk a bit about post-production. The biggest problem usually with action cams and in particular 360 cameras is the fact that we capture a big volume of footage and data. But often this footage remains sitting in our SD cards because it's always the same story. The post-production is a hassle. Well, with Insta360 and in this case with the X3, all of this changes. Post-production still needs to be done pretty often, but post-production is intuitive and easy with simple keyframes and especially the jump cut function on the mobile app. Jump cut is a really useful function, which allows us to reframe the shot as we wanted and select multiple parts within that single long shot that we like, and then export that as one single file. This is so cool and speeds up everything so much. It's basically a neat way to already kind of like edit our footage, selecting two seconds here, five seconds there, one second another, in another spot, getting these chunks and exporting it as a flat video for social media. And the next big positive I find is in sharing. This camera and in all other Insta360 360 degree cameras, the shoot first, reframe later allows us to capture the scene and then reframe it for any aspect ratio we desire. We can reframe one shot to nine by 16 for Instagram and TikTok, 16 by nine for YouTube, one by one square crop. We can create content for any platform with just one shot by reframing it. This in a moment like today is I think fundamentally important. We look at a lot of stuff on our mobile phones, but I also really enjoy watching stuff on YouTube. So having the flexibility to create both vertical and landscape shots is a very useful tool. Another thing that can chop down on some post-production time is me mode, as I said before, which already keeps us in the center of the frame. This can help us skip tracking post-production and basically having to put keyframes. So it can be a very useful modality in some situations.
I have used the Insta360 X3 for the past weeks and I absolutely love it. The main things that really do it for me are the compact form factor which allows for this cam to fit in any pocket. I always take it out with me cycling and I believe this camera to be the best camera there is for cycling, adventure and epic missions out in nature. Shooting with the X3 is natural, requires zero effort and thanks to the super flexible reframing in post-production allows us to really be in the moment and experience what we are doing, be it in cycling in an amazing place or climbing a mountain or whatever else we are doing with our life. We can really enjoy the moment and in the meantime, create some stunning footage of it, creating visual memories that will last us a lifetime. This camera allows anyone with no technical skill to create immersive and beautiful content. It allows us to shoot the protagonist, us, in a dynamic and immersive way in the environment we are in thanks to the impossible third-person shot, which cancels out the selfie stick from the shot. It's like magic. This is truly incredible. No more selfie sticks in the middle of the shot ever. No more shaky action cam footage which shows either the landscape or a half-chopped part of us with some background in the back, but you can't really tell where we are. Welcome to crisp, high dynamic range shots of us moving and interacting in the environment of our adventure. Insta360 is making tools to empower all of us to create visual memories that will last a lifetime. I don't know about you guys, but for me, and I'm not getting paid to say this, this video I was only sent the camera, but these are 100% my opinions and my experience. I absolutely love looking back at photos or videos of places that I've been or things that I've done. I really, really enjoy it. And for a whole lot of time, it has been that the person who takes the photo is never in the photo. And then we enter the phase of selfies, which are always awkward with this kind of like huge arm or the selfie stick in the way. It was never something exciting, something beautiful, something that can inspire others to go out on adventures. Well, with 360 cameras, I am always mind blown by the footage I can get. It is really incredible. And it's footage that I really love to look at again. I remember vividly the adventure I was on. I remembered how I was feeling in that moment, the emotions of the day and visiting like incredible places. X3 and any Insta360 camera, I think really, really takes the game to the next level with making footage that really carries emotion and is dynamic, entertaining and immersive really telling a story about someone who is doing something without having to construct it. It's real. I am a big fan of the truth. I think that just living life is already an adventure. And I'm a big fan of telling the story and the Insta360 X3 is a great tool to do so. It's a great tool to capture amazing things that we are doing with stunning footage that is dynamic and really can inspire other people to get out there more or ride their bike. So as you might have been able to understand from the past minutes of me talking, I really love this technology. Who is this camera for? Well, if you are out road cycling and gravel cycling in epic places, I would and will 100% recommend this camera. If you are an active person that goes out in nature on the weekends for trail runs, hikes and adventures, I 100% recommend this camera to you. If you travel and visit amazing places, well, I can recommend this camera to you. I believe it is so light, effortless to use and the return on investment, both of price and fatigue of use, so effort to shoot, compared to the incredible shots you can get, well, in my mind, this camera is a must have. Since I first got my X2, all my other action cams have been collecting dust. And now with the X3, I predict they will be gathering even more dust. The very simple bottom line is, if my best friend came to me to ask a recommendation for a camera to take on his bike rides, trail runs and travels, I would 100% recommend to him to get this camera. This is fully my opinion, my thoughts with no bias. Another thing that this camera can do, combined with a really long selfie stick, I have one that is three meters, it can substitute drone shots. So we can get it as high as three meters and these shots can really look like basically a drone filmed them and it's pretty, pretty awesome. And to add to this, we can also reframe these shots to give them dynamic motion and make them even better. 
Well, those are my thoughts on the Insta360 X3 camera. I love this camera. I'm looking forward to using it a lot more in the future. I think it's a great piece of technology. I will leave a link in the description to purchase your X3 camera. It is an affiliate link. I highly recommend you get this camera if you are into adventure, into doing stuff, into living an active lifestyle. I think it's a great piece of technology to have. If you like this video, please consider leaving a like, comment, or even super thanks, which is something that I have activated and helps bring in some more revenue that I directly reinvest in this channel, be it with tech gear, or with athlete gear, so running gear, cycling gear, and it's all stuff that just goes to grow this channel and it really helps out a lot. So friends, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you find this video useful. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great life filled with adventure and fun, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.